All right, everyone, we're back. My camera's fixed. We're good to go. This is episode Finally. 17. <laughs> your, internet's, your internet's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And the cam- my camera's good, so. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing today, Justin? It's Monday. Yeah, it's 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 start it's of been the a week. Long day. Start start of a it's, long week already. It's been a long day. Uh, more homework than usual, but we're getting yeah, there. We're getting got there. a test we're tomorrow there. too, so. Yeah, I got a quiz tomorrow. <laughs> That's exactly. Tough. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. Just, but uh, we do this for the fun of it, so uh, we will just give y'all the uh, sports news of the weekend, I guess. <laughs> so, and hey. it's for our entertainment and your guys' entertainment. So we will go straight in to the trash organization of the Buffalo Sabres. Oh, yeah. Um, they re-sign uh, Sam Reihart. And Luke is all marked. But we'll get to Sam Reinhart first. So what is that, a one-year, $5.2 million deal? That's worse than the, that, that's worse than the Josh Anderson one. Like, seriously. Well, yeah, Reinhart – oh, my God. Like, oh, oh, sorry, excuse my language. But, like, come on. Like, Sam Reinhart, really? $5 million for Sam Reinhart? Are we kidding? Like, are we joking? Sam Reinhardt's not worth the money, but <laughs> he's not. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't know why. I don't know. They should have just let him. Go. They let him walk. Yeah, he had fifty points in sixty-nine games, but like, really, five million dollars for a fifty-point player? <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know. <laughs> that Sabers, that Sabers organization. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just not good. It's just not wow. great. They got Taylor Hall, whatever. Yeah. And and yeah and Eichel and Rasmus Dahlin, but like he was second overall in the 2014 draft. Sam Reinhardt, that's crazy to think. But like, yeah, yeah. Five million bucks. Now again, they have money to spend, but they could have just like tried to spend it on like Mike Hoffman or someone, you know, at least attempt. Yeah, but they and they did just they did sign Taylor Hall though. They just signed him. Yeah, they did. But like, hey, if you have, if you have the money to sign Sam Reinhardt, you have the money to go sign uh, Mike Hoffman. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> like, Do they even have cap anymore? Any more cap? Um, let me check here. I'm cap friendly. Uh, they have six million dollars left. Maybe they. Oh, I could see them uh, picking up Hoffman. Maybe. But uh, what are they? What, their players. goaltending. Their like their goaltending isn't great. Their defense is, is isn't great either. <laughs> like that team is to me. That team is similar to uh, the Oilers. They have two good players. Just the defense and the goaltending is not there. No, 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 no bro. Don't, don't, don't compare the same. Not, to the like, like this, like Please don't. team wise, it's like not as skilled, but the build is like similar. Oh, dude, the Oilers have McDavid and Drysital. The uh, and, and Buffalo Sabers have Sabers have Mike Hall. Crappy it's defense. Not only them. Crappy goaltending, and then on the Oilers, crappy defense. Well, yeah, I mean, they just got. I mean, they just they did just get Tyson Berry, so you know. Yeah, 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 they did. So impressive. Sam Reinhardt's only 24. I thought he was like 30. But you, oh. you but it's it's funny how people want to hate on Dubas for bad bad contracts, but like really there's only like one bad contract. That's the Mitch Martin one. That's not even that bad. Like let's be honest. But yeah, you yeah. want to talk about bad contracts. Literally, Jeff Skinner, nine million dollars every year for the next seven years. Really? Just think about that. You're gonna pay nine million dollars for Jeff Skinner, who puts up Barely thirty points a season. And is he a, is he a, is he a forward or defender? No, he he's a forward, a left right left wing right wing. He's twenty eight. Well, I mean that's that's not good numbers for a forward. <laughs> yeah, it's not. That, that's that's getting paid almost ten million dollars more almost than David more million. than David Pasternak more <laughs> more than Marshan. Uh, who else? Oh, okay. More oh, than they, uh, they, more, they decided... more than probably almost as much as Crosby. How much is Crosby making? I don't, I don't even know. But like again, they they decide to take cheap contracts. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not it's not only Sam Reinhardt's fault that he took. Oh, no, and Jeff Sabre, Skinner. That's it's, a nine it's, it's the Sabers' fault too. Like they didn't have to go oh, yeah. with signing him. They could have had, they could have signed like uh, Mike Hoffman. Maybe they still could. No, Maybe Mike Hoffman was already under contract at the time. Uh oh, wow, he's getting paid more than Sidney Crosby. Nice, eight point wow. seven. But again, I've said this on multiple on numerous occasions when off the air, like. You can't compare, like, let's say Matthew's contract to Crosby's contract. You just can't do that. They were both yeah, signed yeah. at different times. I think exactly. Crosby's contract was signed during the lockout around that time. I think. I'm not quite sure. So you can't compare a contract that was signed last year in Matthew's to Crosby's contract that was signed, what, four, five years ago? Yeah, like, you can't, you can't compare. But all, you, you can't know, compare. They're, they're both they're, they're same, they're similar, like, style of hockey. Well, sort of, because Matthews is, like, goal, Matthews is more of a goal scorer. Crosby's more of a playmaker, but they're both centermen. Yeah. They're both top centermen yeah. on their on their team. So well, you really, yeah. with contract wise, though, you really can't compare it. Well, when they're both healthy, they're both top five centers in the league. That's like just, a lot of people are saying Matthews is overpaid. 
Yeah, which I don't understand how that's even possible. <laughs> like, what? How is he overpaid? That's $11 million for a guy who scores 50 goals, who plays on the power play, the first power play, you know, on the first line. Yeah, yeah. He's, his defense is stepping up. He's got good, uh, decent face-off numbers. Like, what are people complaining about? He's, like, probably, you want to talk all, he's about, probably got one of the quickest releases in the NHL. Yeah, right like, now. and a great slap draw. Like, if you want to talk about – you want to complain about bad contracts, just look at Jeff Skinner and $9 million for a guy that can put up barely 40 points a season. Like, yeah. let's be honest. As, like, a forward, like, as a forward, too. Yeah, like, as, uh, yeah, like, come on. It's pretty – it's pretty – it's, it's, it sucks. They don't even lie to yourself. Like, let's be honest. But, like, yeah, um, back to the Sam Reinhardt signing. I – I don't know why five point two, but yeah, okay. Five point okay. five point two million dollars. We're almost, I think the Habs are paying for like five point five for uh Josh Anderson. Well, okay, I, Josh Anderson's a better player than uh, Sam Reinhardt, so well, I'll take, not not, not I'll last take year. It. Not last no, year because he got injured. Oh yeah, because he got injured. I know, I know. He got injured. I'm just showing you. So joking. we'll see. We'll see. This is, I don't know. Buffalo's still gonna be crap. I have a feeling oh, that yeah, this, the Senators are gonna be better than them this year. Okay, that's that's highly debatable. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Or they're like the same, the same. Like, like yeah, like, I'm, I'm, right I'm here. One's like here, one's here, and one's here. It's nothing because they're both crap. Yeah. They're not even that bad. Like Rasmus Ristolainen's overrated. Colin Miller's all right. Brandon Montour's all right. Jake McCabe's all right. Rasmus Dahlin's a superstar. Henry Yokoharu's all right. Like they're not bad. They have Hall. They they still have Hall and uh, Eichel too. Eichel, Reinhardt, Skinner, Schurz. Oh yeah, Eric Reiner. Stahl. Uh, Eric Stahl's. Oh yeah, Eric Stahl too. too. Yeah. So. Oh so, yeah, bad. they're not they're not a bad team. It's just they have. They're bottom six. Well, they've mi- they've missed this, the the playoffs. I don't know how many years in a row. Like, yeah. I haven't seen them in the playoffs since like ever. I've never seen them in the playoffs. <laughs> I say like, <laughs> like what? Well, I I remember watching like 2000. Uh, 13 What's watching it? the Leafs play against Boston and then from yeah. there on I've never seen Bu- ha- Buffalo have an appearance yeah I've never seen them either. they've uh, also uh, never won the Stanley Cup either so that yeah that, so but that franchise is just like right now just it's, sad. Just, it's just sad um, it's, just, it's, it's sad to be a Buffalo Sabres fan oh it is um Linus Allmark signed a one-year 2.6 million dollar deal that went to arbitration um I, I, again sure it's fine it's, it's fine it, I, you can develop him but you can't develop they, him. They could have been. They could have been looking in the free agency for a goaltender, man. That's yeah, like, earlier. So early free many goalies in that lead in there. Like I, could, yeah. I could have seen. I could have seen Braden Holpe go there. I could have seen Matt yeah. Murray go there. Something like maybe that. maybe Markstrom. Yeah, but they actually need a solid goaltender. Like Carter Hunt and Linus Allmark isn't getting you past the first round. Let's just be honest. Might not even make you make the playoffs. Well, so they haven't made the playoffs with those goalies like, in the first place. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know why they're running with these goalies, but okay. <laughs> it's okay, because I would rather take Linus Allmark over Jimmy Howard. So uh, I'll still yeah, he's, got he's, got over he's got a better win percentage. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go to former Leaf, Josh Levo. Oh my gosh, Josh Levo, former Leaf and Canuck, and, and signs Canuck. Um, a one-year deal. Was it a one-year deal? Yeah, well, it was one year. A one-year deal with the Calgary Flames for how much? Uh, I want to say it was like almost league min. I want to say almost a league minimum contract. Not I just want to, hold on, hold on. Let, let me see here. It's not here's oh, like it's, it's oh, John, uh, eight hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. That's not, not bad because. He'll, he'll probably play on like the third or fourth line, maybe. Yeah, but really, probably, we, us the. Leaf fans remember how Josh Levo did on the Leafs. This guy was yeah. all over the place. He was either playing second line, third line, or he was in the AHL. He was like, <laughs> he was all he was all over the Leafs organization. Also because Babcock didn't he, know how to use. He was him, also so. a scratch. He could have been. A, I think he was a scratch yeah. for a little while. He, he wasn't was playing. Scratch. He was on the Marlies yeah. for most of the time. He came up <laughs> a couple games. For yeah, a couple seasons like- too. Like he was there, and then I don't know what happens. Then he goes to the Canucks. Plays, oh, I think, third or fourth it was line. All right. It was all right. It was all right. What does he play? Third then, or fourth line? Yeah, then he got injured, but now he's on to one year. I guess then, prove it deal. And, then now he's on the, and now he's on the Calgary Flames. This guy's been moving all over Canada. So. Yeah, all over Canada. All over <laughs> Canada, pretty much. Mm, yeah. watch, watch him go to the Hobbs or Senators soon. Watch. <laughs> after, this, after this deal's over. Then he becomes a UFA. So, <laughs> yeah. what, a, what a career for Josh Lebo. He, he, he was on a good team for the, uh, for the most part. That Vancouver Canucks team was really good. And now that Calgary Flames, yeah, team, honestly, that you you could see them being a uh, a, a playoff uh, like a playoff material team. Yeah, they're they're gonna be in the playoffs. Like, yeah, I, they're gonna be in I, the playoffs. I think he's in a good position right now. Yeah, I I know I like to hate on the Flames because our, our friends a Flames fan, but like when you when you look at the roster, like it's not even that bad. Like you have Kachuk, Goudreau, Monahan, Backlund, Lucic. Okay, don't no, Lucic no. Mike Giordano, <laughs> not bad. Giordano, Lindholm, Sam Bennett, Sam Bennett. 
Mangiapane. Jacob like, bottom, Markstrom, like, Chris Tanev. Like, yeah. No, I was just naming their forwards. But, like, dude, their bottom six isn't even that bad. They got Nordstrom. They got du- Dylan Dubé. Simone, Dubé, yeah. Sam Bennett, Derek Ryan. Like, their, their, their offense isn't even that bad. Um, it's just when they go into the playoffs, they can't do anything. It's another first round exit. But what do you, but what do you think, Josh? But what do you think, Josh? What Josh Lebo's impact is going to have on that team? Not much. Uh, not I much. Think, probably put up it's like not, it's, it's, they're probably going to be the same, maybe just a little bit better. That's what I think. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a special signing, but it wasn't a bad signing. Now they have. He's a winger, correct? Yeah, he is. He is. He's. I want to say both. They have. No. They have more winger depth now as well. I yeah. So, then but they don't have him for, They only have him for this season. So unless you want to, re, they, unless you want to make another offer if he plays really well next season. But yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll see how that goes with Josh Levo and the Calgary Flames. Yeah. Um, Chris Tierney resigns on a two-year contract. I want to say, with the yeah. uh, Ottawa Senators. With yeah. The Ottawa Senators. Not bad. Um, that's not bad. I'll take, I'll take the Senators have been doing a lot in the free agency. Yeah. Oh man, well, they got uh, first. First of all, they got the first overall, the the third overall, first overall pick or first pick in the first first round pick, my mistake, uh, and third overall pick, which was good. They got Tim Stutzel, right? That's the start of the rebuild. Yeah. They sign, they re-sign Connor Brown. They sign Matt Murray, or no, they make a trade for Matt Murray. They and yeah, him. they're doing really well right now. They, <laughs> and they're, they're signed Adonov. They're they signing a lot of players. I forget about that. And um, yeah, didn't they? Who was it that they drafted? Was it? It wasn't Sanderson because he went fifth. Was it Drysdale? It was I, Drysdale. It was. J- I, yeah, I think it was. He went. Fifth. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was James Drysdale. I want to say it was. But like, yeah, another good signing. Like, I, I, I can't even hate on the Senators. Like, yeah. I honestly, there's nothing really. Oh, three point five for two years. Per three point five eight. You got to remember, they still, they still have cap. Number one, yeah. Number two, they're still they could they could honestly make an offer to Mike Hoffman. They could. They got fourteen million. They don't have to sign anyone yeah, else. Yeah, but they, they can also be, they can also do a Duclair too. Like maybe. Yeah, they, they could circle back with Duclair, which I think could happen. But like, well, I think I think they should, if they want to keep the young players there. Yeah, go ahead. Sign yeah. Hoff. Hoffman would be perfect on the first line. He could be their top scorer on that team for sure. Same thing with Duclair. He can come back. He'll be he'll be up there as well. Maybe he could sign both for. I mean, I mean, honestly, they could. They, million, they, they could. Exactly. They could as well. Oh. Mike, I think Mike Borbieski is also a free agent, right? No, he went to the National on a two-year deal. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. right, right, right. I yeah. totally forgot about that. <laughs> but I, I think Hoffman. I don't think he wants to go to Ottawa again because remember he played in Ottawa. Yeah, I yeah. think. Oh, man, I see D- Detroit or New Jersey. Because I think since, you know, Detroit, you're going to get a lot of power play time. You're going to play first-line minutes, let's be honest. And you're going to play against, like, you know, original six teams, like Leafs, Boston Bruins a lot most of the time. Or, well, if they don't do the Canadian matchup, uh, the Canadian division, right? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it'd be – plus, even if Detroit si- – let's say Detroit signs Hoffman, right, on a two-year deal, three-year deal, right? They can still trade them in, in the season coming up for assets for future assets because they're not building now. They're building for the future, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, there, there's, there's no chance you're going to go from last place to a, a playoff team. Oh. There's no way. They, they know what yeah. the position they're in. Yeah, so I think it would be a good signing if he goes to Detroit. Also, if he goes to New Jersey, like, he could be, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. a mentor. I, I also like, saw – I think teams are in, teams were interested. Uh, I think Ottawa was interested, I think. Columbus, mm-hmm. I think they were interested too. I know the Devils were, and I think the Bruins were as well. Yeah, I heard the Bruins too, but I don't think the Bruins will. No, there's no he he no. played second line. I don't think he wants that. He's a top he's a good he's player. Really he got, probably played second line either way. How many points did he get like in uh in the short amount of time? He got like all I yeah, think 10, go- how much was it? Like ten under like how many games they played. So like let's say they played seventy games, they got like sixty points. Some I think I think that's Yeah, yeah, something like that. He had like twenty eight goals. Like, dude, like okay, then let's say he goes to like um to the Devils, right? You got he's here. Who can learn from him? Paul Murray. Now they also learn from Paul Murray. Paul Murray's still there for another year. He's only 29. That's shocking. Gusev's still there. Zaka. Andreas Janssen. Pavel Zaka. Jack. Oh, oh, Jack oh wait. Travis Zajac. Zajac. Pavel Zaka. Jack Hughes. Jesper Bratt. Like, dude, these guys, like, they got some guys there who can learn from them. They got a couple of, They got a couple of veterans there, too. They got Corey Crawford to, like, mentor the, the team. Yeah, well. Mackenzie Blackwood. DK Subban. Right, they got men. They got yeah. They got veterans that have been in the playoffs. They know what they need. They have. Yeah, the they got Ryan Murray, and they have the veterans. You know what? Honestly, not they bad. They're not bad at all. <laughs> like, like they're going to definitely better than the Buffalo Sabers. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like they're not bad at all, man. Dmitry Kulikov they signed last week. That's not a bad signing. I don't. 
one year, 1.5, 1.1, five zero. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Not bad but, so for the senators to uh, for the senators to sign him, it's not bad at all. They know they know what they, they have, have to do. Yeah, they know what they have to do. Yeah. It's going to be weird. Like, dude, the Devils might surprise a lot of teams. Like, that might be a team you should actually watch out for. Like, not even going to lie. Maybe they'd be better than Pittsburgh this year. Because I know Pittsburgh, this this year, they're not going to be good at all. My opinion. Honestly, That's my no. opinion. They Unless they sign, like, someone – if unless they sign, like, Kaufman or Duclair, I don't – Nah, that's it. They're, Dude, they're like, not. the Devils, honestly, they might be better than Pittsburgh. Like, no, like not even joking. We're like, not even joking, guys. We th- Honestly, this is genuinely true. We th- honestly like, think that the Devils could be better wow. than the Penguins. The Devils might be better than the Penguins. Like, dude, Nico Heischer's on a seven-year deal, 7.25. Wow. But, like, dude, like, when, when you match up the Pittsburgh team with the Devils team, like, look, I would take the Devils goaltending over the Penguins goaltending, let's be honest. Let's well, be I mean, they, they only have, have Jari and then Mackenzie. this young guy that everyone keeps talking about. But they, on the other hand, the Devils, they have a young goalie in Mackenzie Blackwood, and they have the veteran Corey Crawford, who I have yeah. on my hut team. So <laughs> okay, I don't know pretty, why you're bragging about that. I don't know, but it's just cool. <laughs> pretty solid. But yeah, I don't know. It, they have they have really good goaltending. Holy. Honestly, I'm not even lying. I would rather prefer New Jersey's defense over the Penguins' defense. Like, who does Penguin have? Cody Le- CC, Le- Chris Letang. Letang. Chris Letang. I know. I was, I was going to get to him. The Tang, CC, uh, and the rest are casuals. Like John Marino. That's it, really. Now the defense here for uh, New Jersey, they got Will Butcher, who's solid, Damon Severson, Ryan Murray, Dmitry Kulikov, who can hold his ground, PK Subban, who's nah, all right, Connor Carrick, full right. relief. You know, like I would, I, I would not even, I'm, I'm not even like I, I want to count. I want to count out on the Devils this year. May, may, honestly, could you imagine they make the playoffs? Which is probably no. not going to happen. Honestly, imagine like, they do. Imagine they surprise everyone yeah, and somehow get like could. second wild card. Imagine. Imagine. That would be insane. But the way they do, they should do it is if if they have um, let's excuse me, they have the four divisions. Top four teams make it to the playoffs because sixty teams automatically make it. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be top like four. four yeah, instead of having like the, that wild card, you know how they have yeah. that. It honestly, I think it'd be more condensed if they do have that that kind of division. Yeah. Top four teams from each different category or different different um. Division would make it. It's much easier that way. It is much easier that way. I, I, I would like that a lot. Yeah, Sam. It gets rid of the wild card. So just top 14 per division. I would like that. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Fantastic. Um, yeah, but don't count on the Devils. Like, because... yeah, yeah, don't. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to keep trusting myself because I did say Blackhawks were beating the Oilers and the Habs beating the Penguins in the round. We both, so we both keep... agree. We both we, we did both that, agree right? So I will, I, will, I will hold my ground and say the Devils – Will be there with the Penguins. They will. They will. Might be, even be better. I. I won't even be surprised if they are. Might not even, even be better. Exactly. I, I'm not I, I would be shocked. I would not be. And shocked. if they and if they sign Hoffman, right. then that team is actually underrated and nobody talks about them because they're in New Jersey. <laughs> Let's right. just be any honest. other any. I, I think that's it for the NHL news. Um, I think that is it. That's um, it. So let's move. Work. So we'll move on to the here. World Series. So when we left it off on Friday, I'm pretty sure it was two one Dodgers. Two Dodgers. It was 2-1 Dodgers over the weekend. I think it was on Saturday. They played, yeah. and uh, the, the Tampa Bay Rays somehow came back and won that game. <laughs> Dodgers we, were playing, we were playing chill when that happened. We heard yeah. about it, right? Oh, man. So we find out the Tampa Bay Rays win. And then they played yesterday. The Dodgers go up 3-2 in the, in the, in the World Series. So Put game, more number, six tomorrow, game number six is tomorrow yeah. at 8.07, something like that. I, Thing. It's something like that. Something um, like that. Yeah. The Dodgers will win tomorrow. I'm telling you right now. I, think so? I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I think Tampa, Tampa's gonna win tomorrow. Yeah, you know what? They're gonna come back and maybe win yeah. the World Series. I did have them. No. I did have them winning. So it's either it's either LA wins the they either win the champ, NBA championship and the, uh, the NBA championship. Yeah, the NBA championship. Right. Oh, oh, oh! They oh, have oh. it. They have oh, it. Mendia. And they have like, a World Series. They'll win an NBA I, title I, and a World Series title in that same year. Up. Or Tampa Bay wins the Stanley Cup title. Yeah. And then they win the uh, World Series, too. That would be kind of sick. I mean. Sure, I, thought, I thought you were talking about, like, the Dodgers no, 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 no. the NBA championship. I was like, bro, really? Dude, I was, I was thinking about it today, and I'm like, so it could be the Lakers and Dodgers having two, like, major sports teams winning the title, right? And I'm here every year, basically every year, crying. About one, the Leafs losing in the first round or not even making the playoffs. Yeah. And two, the Blue Jays, one, not being good, or two, making the playoffs again and eliminated first round. 
And it's like it's 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 ridiculous. Or even the Raptors. Uh, they 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 actually go far into the playoffs. They actually won last year, which I'm thank goodness. <laughs> but like, man, like, man, I wish I could be that lucky. <laughs> like seeing two yeah, of my yeah. favorite four teams win at the same. same. Like I saw the yeah. Toronto FC win in 2017, but no, like the Raptors choked in the playoffs that time. The Blue Jays were at the beginning of their like rebuilding stages, and the Leafs kept choking in the first round too at that time. So yeah, exactly. Like, so like they were they were bad for a while. Yeah, like. I, I can I have a year like I don't want to sound greedy, but like you see Boston at least one title every year. You see LA one title basically every year somehow. It's like, come on. No Boston like, title. No Boston title this year though. Yeah, especially especially with that Patriots team. They're two and four. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. But it's not like you're the New York Giants and uh or the New yeah yeah or, or like or like the New York Jets who are like zero and seven or something. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, well, back to the World Series. So you think the Dodgers will take it home tomorrow in yeah. six? No, no you did predict. You did predict them winning in six. I had Tampa winning in seven. So we'll see tomorrow how that ends up. And yeah, yeah. maybe Plus, we'll, we'll, to we will either see the Rays. We will either see the Dodgers go out, or we'll see Tampa force another game. Yeah. And um, let's go into our. I think this is this our final topic. It will be a final topic. There's really nothing. Uh, the TFC, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely, absolutely demolished five zero. They were absolutely five zero terrible. against Philadelphia Union. Like, what <laughs> kind, first of all, what kind of name is that? Like Philadelphia <laughs> Union. What are you? What are you uniting? Like, like seriously, you're just uniting MLS players from Philadelphia <laughs> or wherever. Like, cool, yeah. great. And then they beat TFC. Like that's just that's yeah sucks. five zero. I think five zero, dude. Kind of not even a it's shutout. Like, they shut yeah. the goalie out, bro. Like, that's ridiculous, bro. When it was like four zero, I'm like, what are they doing? Like, just get off the field. Like, that was an embarrassment. They had like zero, zero confidence and zero enthusiasm to go out there and play. They just kept turning it over, turning it over. It's like, it's yeah, I know. I was no watching one. the high. I was watching the highlights, dude. They they did not. They they, 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 they didn't know what they were doing. They had no idea. Yeah, and now they're tied with the uh, for the league lead and uh, supporter shield with with the Philadelphia Union now. So, so they both have the those, same. Record. Those are the top two teams. The TFC is definitely making the playoffs. I hope they go to the oh, finals yeah. again, but I just hope they don't lose like last time. Yeah, but um, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, by the way, if the supporter shield was handed out today, the Philadelphia Union would be taken out because they have a better goal differential. So yeah. just, just to point that out there. Just to point that out there, but just yeah, to point that out there. they still have how many games left in their season? I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it right now. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's only like seven or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I love it. All the, 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 all the sports, they lasted. It, we were all like, oh, wait, when are they going to come back? Oh, wait. This Just was like, like that. three games left. Three games yeah. left, and that's yeah, yeah. done. Then we have to wait another, like, a couple. Like, we have to wait till like, all most of the sports come back, man. Like, yeah. we, have, we have to wait a while, dude. Yeah. yeah, there's only three games left, and then they go straight to the playoffs, so we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be very entertaining to watch. Can't wait to mm-hmm. watch TFC win this year, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, another – one more thing I forgot to me- – we forgot to mention. Uh, Canadian star plays for Bayern Munich. Oh, yeah, Alfonso Davies. Yeah. Alfonso Davies, tough, man. He got injured. Oh, no. That uh, is what was it? Like an, I think it was like a knee injury. I think a torn ACL. Let's give him out. Torn ACL, torn ACL or, dude. Don't, don't. I'm, I think it, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Maybe. Like but it was, it was tough, bro. I, I was watching. He looked mm. so sad, bro. And especially yeah. for him to develop. He was, he's such a great player. Oh, so, and he's from so Canada. Good. We are from yeah. Canada. We support that. We like that. Yeah. We like Canadian <laughs> like players being good. We like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. 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 And, but uh, it's tough. It's tough to see though. He, he, he'll bounce back. He's going to come back and he's going to score 20 goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, maybe. I don't even know. Maybe. He's um, a defender. Tomorrow is Champions League uh, match day two of six. Um, really? We got some good games tomorrow. Wow. Don't we have huh. – where do we even start? We have Bayern Munich playing tomorrow against Moscow. That's going to be interesting. Inter Milan plays tomorrow. Real Madrid plays tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, they, they did beat but my, my Barcelona 3-1. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, 3-1. Three, three like, I, I, three I, yeah, I said, I you know what you said they were winning that game. and I, I told you uh, Real was winning that, bro. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The VAR with the penalty. I'm not, I'm not even going to get it anyway. I think they go Madrid plays tomorrow. Wednesday, yeah. Barcelona, Juventus. Uh, that's Wednesday. Ooh. I got um, you I think, winning that. Uh, Barcelona is going to win that. No cap. Ajax, Atalanta, Man United play on Wednesday. Dude, that's a lot yeah. of good games. There's a lot of soccer, <laughs> there's a lot of soccer going yeah. on this week, guys. Yeah, oh, man. 
All right. Next, so next that, week, Real Madrid week. Inter Milan. So, wow. yeah, a lot of oh, good yeah. games. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. I'm pretty sure we covered everything that we I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. yeah, this has been episode. We'll see you guys on Friday with episode 18. Friday. Oh, my Hopefully camera. More you. Holy, my camera just shook. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys on Friday. We're, we're pro- hopefully there's going to be more news because hopefully. <laughs> it's, it's, it, well, sorry, it's kind of dr- the, the episodes have been kind of dry. There's nothing really good. Just hasn't, there hasn't been anything. It hasn't really been hasn't anything been on either. Friday or like this week. So hopefully we get yeah. some big big news coming out this week. Maybe more NHL signings. Hopefully something about the NBA season continuing. Yeah, and I will leave we'll leave yeah. it at that. <laughs> this has been episode 17. We'll see you guys on Friday. Yeah, sure. Peace. Peace.